shaving has got nothing to do with poreless basically it's to remove your hair uh, so yes it does help when you remove the hair your makeup application becomes way more smoother I usually add a little bit of a moisturizer in the foundation to make it look more oily or dewy. Always like 99% of my makeups are done with like a, I actually mix foundation and moisturizer cream in order to make it lighter because I actually want lighter coverage. I'm not really a full full coverage makeup like I don't really like too much of a cakier foundations, so I use it. But uh, ideally, loose powder if translucent wouldn't make it thicker. But if you're going for like a cake powder, it will be thicker. I use ice, ice on top of. Uh, the area that is producing much of uh, oil, it means open pore wala area. I actually end up using more of ice for like one or two minutes. I rub it in order to balance the pH level. And uh, ideally that will block your oil for like two to three hours. Ideally makeup is a lot about confidence. So I actually try and understand what do they like if i feel like it's not going on their face i actually try and make them understand that uh, the face everybody has a different face so you are supposed to go according to your face and uh, if not obviously that's a client you can't really tell them no you can make them understand but you can't really say no No makeup look is actually created minimum with like 20-25 products. So there is no such thing as no makeup, no makeup. You actually use the products in order to make your makeup look more effortless. Prepping, priming. Uh, so basically makeup is like painting. So if you paint something, you have to prep your, prime your canvas, right? It's the same way. I actually believe in a lot of uh, primers because that ideally does 40% of my work. No, I don't play by the rules. I actually uh, go to clients' skin, uh, look at their confidence level. Uh, like I can actually rock anything but I, I have met a lot of women who don't apply anything other than liner or kajal or lipstick so you try and build that for them like if they have done if they go like really wrong in makeup for once it's never going to happen on her face again she's never going to put on makeup again with that much of effort so I actually try and give them confidence by doing step by step I would say uh, the products are getting like way better like HD products are already lighter uh, plus like I am a lot about like water-based products which already gives lighter uh, formulation or lighter coverage and uh, I am really obsessed with glass skin makeup. I, I can't do like a single makeup without making it looking glossy, like more like a real dewy skin. Prepping, priming and uh, using ton lots of moisturizer is something that I swear by because if you do not create the base in order to go see base like foundation is 90 percent of your face you're supposed to make it look smooth so prep prime and lot of moisturizer along with your water-based foundation is something i swear by like i have seen a lot of people talking about brands and they think like only branded stuff will actually uh, give them the result obviously brands are that but we are called artists for a reason 
you ever look at the painting and you think like uh, oh because the paint were expensive that's why this painting is fabulous no you look at the art done by a artist it depends it, it's the exact same term i really think we are called makeup artists because we could make anyone look fabulous by our art first of all don't come in that pressure uh, try and be like if you are upcoming makeup artist try and keep like a good rapport with your brides or whoever is getting like side brides or anybody from the family who wants to get their makeup done by you my first few questions whenever i do somebody's makeup is even though i know like what will be the amount of makeup she would be able to carry just by looking at her just by looking at the clothes just by looking at their jewelry i can actually think of what i'm going to do but still i actually try and give them confidence by talking to them these are few of my questions that i ask each and every person even if i'm doing 20 makeups a day 30 makes up makeups a day i would actually ask them what is that you would like to get done you can choose either your lips either your eyes you tell me do you like heavier lips like darker color lips or you want to go for darker color eye or do you have any references what would you like to get done on your hair what would you like to get done on your makeup these are few of the questions i always ask that way they understand that i care about their preferences at the end of the day it's always going to be like do whatever you like anil but i still like to ask those questions actually try and go with what they like but if i feel like she won't be able to carry this i actually explain them and ideally we would come to a term where we are happy both of us i actually have foundations which are 500 rupees to 20000 so i can't really say i use both of them and it's actually on me i am the artist product is not the artist so if you are if you are an upcoming makeup artist or coming new into the field slowly steadily build your kit don't really go like don't go in that pressure and absolutely don't think that products actually make you the artist art is in your hands not in the product no i am not really i'm not at all following anything that's only working on instagram i'm actually doing what my brides like or what is my forte i'm not really following anything that's trending on instagram i am a fabulous a uh, math student always so i think so i'll be a math teacher do you see the manicure in back side i actually tried and paint my two canvases the same way that's all i did i makeup is a lot like painting and i love painting faces so i just went with the flow ideally as a makeup artist see everybody's work is in a photo you're supposed to understand how the styling should be how the lighting should be how the photograph should be done like uh, for today's example when i was painting their faces i realized like there was supposed to be a lot of lights involved in this shoot so i didn't do anything glossy i actually did matte highlighter in order to uplift the cheekbones and everything and i actually painted the lines where it would look amazing in lights and i actually painted something in white so there are white lines according to today's look if you look at someone you're looking at their eyes you're looking at the lips that is the area that you're focusing of course makeup is everything when it goes to a person's expressions an expression is everything in a photograph so yes it does play like a lot of roles and 
you can actually ideally make someone look the character that you want to play just by playing with makeup i actually try and play that character in front of them in order to make them understand how they should be posing see by working in the field for such a long time uh, along with makeup styling and story telling or creating characters have been one of my passion alongside with makeup so i actually try and make them understand how they should be looking it's not only about when you look at the character it's not only about looking beautiful only it's a lot about how your characteristics show in the photograph